Good morning, greeting students. Welcome to another fun and exciting day to learn science only here at Valenzuela Live. Today, our most essential learning competency is explain the incomplete dominance pattern and describe codominance traits. It is found on most essential learning competencies crafted by the Department of Education. So begin, let us recap first what is genetics. Are you familiar with this word or with the word genetics? Or are you wondering why you have some or same physical features with your family, for example, your height, your nose, or the color of your eyes? Well, genetics is the scientific study of transmission of traits and its variation. It is the key for us to understand why we acquire and do not acquire such traits from our parents. It was pioneered by a monk Austrian named Gregor Mendel with his famous experiment with a pea plant. This experiment opens up the wide view of perspectives towards the acquisition of traits from parents to one generation towards the further generations. For we to understand further the genetics, let us define the following terms. First is dominant or dominant traits. It is usually called the strong traits that is expressible by an organism. In genetics, we usually write it with a capital letter and looks like this. Not the way it is written? Well, it is the way to signify and giving an emphasis that the trait is dominant over the other traits. On the other hand, if there is a strong trait, there is also a weaker trait and it is called recessive traits. It does not usually express or can be seen physically unless partnered with another recessive traits. In genetics, we write it with both small letters like this one. See the difference with the dominant traits? If you are still confused with this one, here is your hint. If there is at least one capital letter in any of the given alleles, it is obviously a dominant trait. But if there is no other capitalized letter in a given trait, of course, it is a recessive trait. Therefore, in the case of capital A and a small a, this signifies that the allele is a dominant. Let us have this characteristic or characteristics of an allele. Homozygous is a characteristic of an allele. When we say homozygous, it only pertains that the allele is written on the same manner. From the word homo, meaning same. If the first letter is written in capital letter, the second letter should be a capital suit. If the first letter is in small letter, therefore, the following letter should be in small letter as well. For you to understand it, this is how they look. Heterozygous, on the other hand, is a combination of a capital letter and a small letter. But we need to write first the capital letter followed by a small letter because dominant feature should be emphasized more than the or more than the recessive one also it is for the use of describing a dominant trait only it looks like this did you notice now the differences very good now Grab your pen and paper and try to answer the following. You have one minute to answer six items. 
Your task is to decide whether the following are dominant or recessive and homozygous or heterozygous. Write your answer on your answer sheet, then take a picture of it, just in case your subject teacher wanted to see your activity this day. Time starts now! Your time is running. Hurry. Answer the following questions now. Just describe whether the following alleles are dominant, recessive, and homozygous and heterogeneous. You still have time. Running out. Time is up. Let us check if you got it all. Here are the answers. If you got four and above, let us know in the comment section by typing your score with the hashtag hashtag agahamasaya matuto. Another terms that we need to unlock are genotype and phenotype. They are almost the same, but their slight difference is genotype pertains to the genetic code, while phenotype is the expression of the genetic code. We can easily distinguish their differences if we use them in a problem in a planet square day. Now, let us try this way. A homozygous tall man marries a woman carrying a recessive feature on the same trait. What are their alleles? Repeat the question. A homozygous tall man marries a woman Carrying a recessive picture on the same tree. What are their alias? Our clues are the words homozygous tall and recessive. Therefore, our alias are exactly. Now that we have an alias, which are two capital A for the father and two small a for the mother. What are the possible traits that will be acquired by their offspring? How can we solve it? We will use a Punnett square and the idea of Mendel wherein we need to separate the allele from both parents and combine it together with their alleles. For adding, after adding all alleles from one parent, one parent rather, will have a genotypic ratio or GR of 4 capital A small a is to 0 and a phenotypic ratio or PR of 4 tall is to 0. But what does it mean? What does GR and PR ratios mean? Only means that we acquire four heterozygous tallness trait or 100% heterozygous tallness trait. Did you get it? But here is another problem. If you are still confused, let's try this another problem. A heterozygous tall man marries a woman carrying a recessive feature of the same trait. I repeat the question. A heterozygous tall man marries a woman carrying a recessive feature on a same trait. What are their alleles? Do you have any idea what are their alleles? 
if you are saying this one, excellent. Very good, students. It is indeed based on the problem we have capital A, small a allele for the father, and two small a for the mother. Now, what will be the end result? Comment down it below. What will be the end result? If you come up with this answer, or the ratio of 2 is to 2, well, excellent. You're doing a good job. But try to analyze this problem. Last month, I tried to breed my red gumamela flower with white gumamela flower because I was wondering which of which is dominant in terms of color. To my surprise, I got a pink gumamela flower. How does it can happen? Is it really possible? Red, white, then turns into pink? Well, in genetics, it is still possible. That problem is called incomplete dominance. In this type of non-Mendelian inheritance, there is no true dominant traits. In layman's term, they are co-equal. Therefore, the traits are hereby mixed to form another kind and a new trait, just like on our problem. So, in order for we to solve the mystery, we need an allele. We will represent our alleles as two capital R for red and two capital W as white. Afterwards, we will separate and combine the alleles from each parent. What do we have now? Different trait compared to its parent. Focusing on the idea given by the result, we have 4 capital R capital W is to 0 for our GR or genotypic ratio and 4 ping is to 0 for our phenotypic ratio or PR. Why do we have why do we have ping? Again, in this case called incomplete dominance, we do not have a true dominant trait. Therefore, the traits from one parent are being mixed to form another kind of characteristics. In short, red plus white is equal to pink. How about this problem? Let me read it first. Since I got a pink gumamela flower on its first generation, what will happen in second generation if I crossbreed the pink gumamela flower with white gumamela flower? Will there be another change in their color? Let's find out. First, let's determine the alleles. Are our alleles are correct? Comment down your answers. If you are saying that there is wrong in our alleles, very good. Since we have pink traits, let us replace this one by this one. Then, we can now write the following data on our pan square. Can you guess our GR and PR? Excellent! Our GR and PR are 2 is to 2. But I am still confused. With the problem, uh, with the Gumamela problem, we can easily answer it by mixing their colors. But how about this one? Let me read it first. I have now an idea on how incomplete dominance happens to my gumamela flowers. Now, 
I was wandering on the cows, cows of my grandparents. The parents are black and white coated fur, but their offspring is neither gray or shaded of black. Instead, it is spotted cow. How can it possible? Hmm, red plus white is pink. Black and white is spotted. Well, it is still possible in the eyes of genetics. In this case, it is called codominance, wherein instead of mixing the traits, both traits are present and being expressed in the same time by an organism. Now, let us try to solve it. First, we need an alleles. Our alleles are capital B and capital W. Solving it on a planet square will give us this data. Formulating our GR and PR now is easy because we have now a GR and PR of Excellent! We have this GR and PR. With this topic, we can now say that acquiring of traits is not just a simple way as what we know. It requires a lot of features like dominancy and recessiveness of a trait. It also draws as a conclusion that incomplete dominant is way different than codominance, for their appearance is depend on the way it looks at the end. Learning this topic is easy, right? If you learned something in this lesson, let us know by typing it on the comment section together with a hashtag, Agham Masayang Matuto. Till next time.